All right, man, look at that. Nice new grill, way overpriced. Hey, gosh, you guys almost made me drop this. This thing's expensive. Glad to see you though, you're just in time. We're gonna see if this brand new grill won't feed up in this beat up old MGA. All right, let's see what happens here. Now there's three bolts that go here and three that go here. Seems pretty simple. We've roughed in our bodywork. I didn't want to get too finalized into it because this hole could, you know, it could kind of go really anywhere. So we spent uh, uh, in the hundreds, several hundreds of dollars for this aftermarket grill. So it lines up at the bottom. Hmm. No? How about a rubber one? No? Hmm. Well, something's really not jiving. I can see on top, our holes kind of lined up, then the bottoms don't. If you line up the bottom holes, and they really don't line up either. See the three brackets with the welded nuts. I do have one of our old ones. And you can see why we chose a new grill. This one really isn't doing much grill things. And it goes flush. Of course, it's, it's kind of flat. It should be rounded. It's been hit. Um, but it looks like all the holes lined up. It doesn't really fit in the hole of the body very well because it's, again, it's flat. I sort of see the problem. These brackets need bent around a little bit and adjusted. Great. You know, it's not a surprise, the horror stories of aftermarket parts. It's a shame though, that this one's so expensive and I've got to modify the car or the grill. And I'm not, again, I'm not real surprised. I've got another piece I'll show you when I find it. Here you go. Here it is. This here. That there goes in the passenger door jam. We have an original one that fits for the driver's side. Can't find the one for the passenger side. So we bought one. This is $162. And it's too long. It's like, you know, your striker goes here. Well, these holes are about an inch higher than the holes in the body. So this is going to need cut down and squeaky squeaky down a little bit. Let me go figure out what I'm going to do with this thing and I'll get back with you. So I brought you in a little closer just to see what uh, really is going on. See the little brackets here? They're kind of hard to see, aren't they? There's one there. There's another one here. And the three at the bottom. So it looks like generally the hole size is okay. Over here, it's just off camera, you can't see it, where that patch and everything had been replaced. It's off a little bit, but it's off a little big. So we can fix that pretty easy. Problem I'm having is getting it to go in the hole, and it kind of is. That side is pretty, pretty funny over there. We really got to body work that side. And the, uh, what I did was bend up these brackets. I just took a pair of pliers and just bent them down. And I'll probably have to do it some more. 
to get it to fit. There's holes in here and they can be, somebody's already kind of wallered them out, you know. We're just, we're just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let me get some of this, this Bondo cleaned up around here uh, and make sure we don't have chunks or anything. I'll probably bend these little brackets in, see if it does that a little better. We might be getting somewhere. It's like the whole thing needs to come down. And again, I think it's the brackets, not the car. Man, I went to find hardware and turns out the welded nuts are metric. Standard fine thread is what this whole car is. The whole car. No metric, standard fine thread. So if some poor guy had a beat up grill, I'm gonna buy that nice grill and put it in my nice MGA. He wouldn't have bolts for it. His old ones won't work. And he probably scratched the crap out of his car trying to get this stupid thing to fit. Oh well, not surprised. Anyhow, wallered out a hole down here a little bit, got a bolt in it. I got two bolts, or one something, you know. I'm just gonna keep fiddling with the bracketry. And that, that's why it's wanting to set up. Uh, all right, well, I just thought I'd let you know what was going on. That made quite a bit of difference. My holes are a little better for lining up. Um, now, not that they won't need wallered out, because you guys know me, I like to do some wallering. But I've noticed, now that the grill's kind of where it's supposed to be, you can see right here, might be hard to see, that line is all kind of screwed up. So I'm gonna mark that out. Probably put a couple bolts in it and mark that out with some masking tape to know where I need to fix it. And it's actually, the grill has to sit on top of it here, so it needs knocked back. Let me get that bolted in and show you what I'm going to do. Now, all but one bolt's in, and that's this one on the bottom. Now, I'm, I could wall out the holes, but I know part of my problem is right here. I'm going to zoom you in, hopefully. And you'll see it. Right here. Down here, the gap is wide. Up here, it's really tight. And the grill's sitting on top of the body, where it actually needs to go down in the body, in the contour of the body. So let me get a marking device and see what we can do about that. Masking tape. And I know up here this corner is a little funny, so it needs built up just a little bit. But this right here is not Bondo. That is metal. It looks like Bondo. It is Bondo, but it's, trust me. Run me a tape line kind of around that corner a little bit, maybe. All right, so got my Holly and my dammer. <clears throat> Let me zoom you in here a little bit. You can kind of see. This little high spot. And I've already tacked on it a little bit, so I already know it's it's working. But I need to I need to push that back. In and back. Now we're gonna have to fill a little bit here and down here. 
because this whole panel when they put it in is a little bit crooked. But for now, we're going to worry about the high spot. Got to get the grill to go down where it belongs. And it's been hard enough to start with. You told me to go straight to hell. Hey, I surely did. You saw me tacky 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 just trying to move this edge a little bit. Grills in pretty pretty decent for where I want it. This thing ain't gonna be perfect but I need to define this edge and fill in right here and right up here. That's why I got the masking tape because yep you guessed it Duraglass doesn't fit or doesn't stick to masking tape. I'm just going to push it in there a little bit. It'll give us a building surface and we'll sand this down. Finish it off with some filler. Try not to make too much of a mess. This area was low anyway. I 
not a high traffic area of the car, so to worry about you know somebody's putting their hands on it all the time or their arm on it like on the top of a door or on the edge of a door so push her in there Yeah, I know. I know what you're thinking. How else would you fix this? That's how I'm fixing it. So this will get sanded down, so don't sweat it. Get out my favorite tool. Pocket knife. That'll be a nice edge that we can sand off, body work it. We're going to see it when all the Bondo's done on the front of this car. Yep. off the cheese grater. Just got the regular block, piece of 40 grit. I already see metal or whatever showing up right there, so. A little bit of metal shown here. Like I said, this whole corner was just beat to heck. I want this side. I feel like the other side that still needs work. This is a little sharp. We'll cut that off a little bit. Once we get it squared off. Okay, we're gonna finish this with the body filler and 80 grit. Somebody's stealing my base.
Morning, y'all. Looks like <clears throat> it's a little cold in here because the camera's going funny, but it does that. It is the next morning. Uh, got her mudded in again on top of our Dura glass. Kind of did the whole thing. Blocked it out in 40. 40 grits. Now I got my 80 grit and it's nice soft curvy block so I can, you know, massage around those curves a little bit. We're about to see if that uh, grill fits now. Stupid thing. I'm gonna get a long enough piece. A little bit of touching up here to do on this little spot here, but I mean, a little final body work done to it, but it's there. We have a hole for the grill, and the grill fits the hole. This side's a little still mucked up. A little touching up to do down there, you know. So really, not all the grill's fault. Mostly the car's fault. This whole thing was just when it got wrecked over here and so it's just it's going to be a fight this whole front end and probably the rest of the car yep looks pretty good doesn't it it still needs to pull it down a little bit <clears throat> that's all right you know hey thanks for hanging out again guys anvil tech get on your project buddy Robert Jones, see you, man. Ralph Zorba, how you doing? It's a little cold. I'm getting a cold. Uh, so I'm going to go inside and do this video up. You guys have a good, good week. See you this time next week. Do something towards your project. Go buy a little part. Work on a building you can do your project in. Do something, you know, because you can always figure it out if you don't know what you're doing. I'm proof. All right, junk out. Whew.